How to distort images using channels in Clip Studio Paint. Only problem, there are no colour channels, but you can create fake channels using layers. So go to the layer menu and create two copies of the current layer by using duplicate layer twice. You now have three layers, all identical. Go to layer panel and select the top layer. That will be the red channel. Go to the edit menu, tonal correction and level correction. Go to the drop down menu at the top. Select the green. Go to the output slider, move the left side slider to the right. Go to the blue entry and do the same with the output slider. Click OK, go to the layer panel, select the middle layer, the green. Go to edit menu, tonal correction and level correction. Go to the red entry, go to the output slider, move the right side marker all the way to the left. Go to the blue entry and then output slider, move the right slider all the way to the left. Go to the layer panel and select the bottom layer, the blue channel. Go to the edit menu and tonal correction and level correction. For the blue, you want to change the red and the green entries. Go to the red entry, go to the output, again move the right side to the left. Now go to the green entry and repeat. And click OK. In the layers panel, you can now see red, green and blue channels. Only the red layer channel is visible. At the top of the layer panel, go to the blending modes and select Lighten. Go to the green layer entry and select a blending mode of Lighten. Keep the blue entry as normal. The image looks like it was at the start. But now you've got the red, green and blue information. Select the top layer, the red channel. You can now distort the individual channels. Go to the filter menu and transform and fisheye lens. Go to the distortion setting. The settings below are only available when you select the second entry in the drop down. Select the specify size and then you can change the radius as well as the flattening settings to create many interesting distortions. Apply to whole and it just uses the distortion setting which is pretty effective itself. Click OK. Go to the filter menu and go to blur and select the Gaussian blur or one of the other blurs. The blur is being applied to the red channel layer. Now go to the green layer channel. Then go to the filter menu and transform and select pinch. Change the amount setting to distort the image. Pinching the channel information in as well as out. I'm using pinch, but you could use the other distortions just as well. Click OK. Go to the layer panel and select the blue channel layer. Go to filter menu and blur and motion blur to add some motion blur to the blue. Increase the area to blur setting. Change the direction setting. Click OK. Go to the filter menu again. Displaying only the blue channel, you can see the motion blur. With the blue layer selected, go to the filter menu and transform and fisheye lens. Change the distortion in any way you wish. Click OK. You can also go to the edit menu and transformation and mesh transformation and apply a warp that way to distort the image even more. Move the mesh points to distort the image. Once you're happy, go to the bottom of the screen and click OK. It is not the quickest of features.
Go to the layer menu and flatten image. You have a wonderful, colourful, distorted image. So there you have your colourful colour channels. Other applications may make it easier, but you can still do it in Clip Studio Paint. Hope you have found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Clip Studio Paint, so please subscribe to the channel. Also, please add some comments. Always happy to hear from you. A dislike or like. Thank you much.